Hi and welcome to 2023. We're going to start this year off with a total free solution that's going to allow you to find stock images and edit them without having any complex kind of software tools, without installing anything at all and without spending a single penny. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about Pixabay. Now we've already seen this probably in the past and you may well be aware of this, but there is a new feature available in this that opens up some great possibilities. Let's go ahead and find an image. Let's say I'm looking for a laptop image. There we go, we now have an abundance of free images. I like the look of this one, this computer workplace one. Let's click to open this up. And as before, we've always had the option to go ahead and choose a free download. If we click to open this, we can choose a various different range of sizes, including file sizes and the actual overall dimensions of the image. You'll also notice now we have a new option called Retouch with Canva. Now, even if you're not a Canva user or you don't pay for this, you can still access this and you don't even need to have an account. Let me show you how it works. If we click on Retouch with Canva, that will open a new tab, take that image over into Canva and allow you to then go ahead and edit it using a range of great tools. As you can see, we've got this little option to go ahead and have a little tour that shows us exactly how all this all works. So we can skip this if we've seen it before. We can go ahead and just choose next, find out a little bit more about it and go through and find out exactly what you can do. Let's go ahead and skip that though. Now you notice I'm not signed in. So all of this is totally accessible when you're signed out. So what we can do is we can do things like we can filter this, we can adjust it, we can crop it, we can flip it and do a range of different things. So if we choose filter, for example, we've got a bunch of cool looking filters which you can immediately apply straight to the image, adjusting the intensity of those to get a fine tuned, refined end result. We'd also go into adjust and this is where more power is available to you. If you come from a tool like Lightroom or something like that, a lot of this is going to be very, very familiar. But what we can do is we can do things like adjust the brightness and the contrast. We can desaturate the image if we want a more black and white kind of sort of subtle tone, or we can bump that up if we find it's a little bit dull and get exactly what we want. You can see we can adjust the tint so we can shift these over in the hue. So if you're working with a really simple monochrome image, you could go ahead and adjust the tint to it. We can adjust blur if we want to. We can make these kind of weird funky effects if you want to have a blurred background to put some text over the top on your hero image, whatever. You can see there's an abundance of options. We can apply a vignette to this. We can adjust the warmth of the image. We can cool it down. We can sharpen it by using clarity. So if we undo this blur, set that back to zero, we can use the clarity and get more clarity, more contrast, the edges. If you want to update the vibrance to get certain colors like skin tones or so on, a little bit warmer, you can do it all inside here. So once you've gone ahead and done that, you can see you've got a filter code, so you could reapply this if you wanted to when you don't log into an account. So you can grab that and use that if you want. We can also go in and crop this. You can see we can do whatever crop we want. So we might want to just tighten this up a little bit. We can adjust it, get it to where we want. More options on the right hand side to adjust various different parameters, things like we can lock the aspect ratio and so on. Once we're happy, click on done and we'll now crop that image. You want to flip it, you can do just that horizontally and vertically. All those things are available. So we have a nice simple editor that we can use inside Canva. And then when we're ready, we can go ahead, click on the share option and we can then copy this link or we can go ahead and download it. So once you've done everything we want, we can download the image and we can carry on working. So all of this is available totally free of charge, connected directly to Pixabay and you can just make edits without having to have an account on either of these services. So there we go. That's how you can grab yourself some nice stock images, totally free, royalty free, and then edit them to your heart's content using Canva's free options to edit, flip, resize, crop, and those kinds of things. Hope you find the video useful. All the links will be in the description down below. I hope you're having a fantastic day and you have a fantastic 2023. And I'll see you very, very soon. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tats and until next time, take care.